and welcome back to my channel. I am Choma Osu, and most of you, or some of you, call me Chimmy, so you can call me anyone you like. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to actually be showing you guys how to achieve a reversible bumper jacket. Okay, we all know that bumper jackets have been trending for a very, very long time, and this time around, a subscriber asked, you know, if I could do a tutorial on a reversible bumper jacket and I decided to do it. Why not? Why not? So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I know most of you haven't seen me wearing um, glasses before. Okay, this is because I have actually have an irritation on my eye. So, I decided to <laughs> just put this on. Okay. Okay, so, um, this is what we're going to be doing. After the reversible bumper jacket, we're also going to doing the reversible waterfall jacket somebody asked me to do this jacket for her and i'm going to be doing that you know i think it's a trendy um you know thing and it's really nice it looks nice so why not i'm going to get that done and i'm sure most of you want to see how i get to achieve that and when i'm talking about reversible i mean you can actually wear it this way that's the wrong side or you can actually wear the right side whichever you choose you know to Hold on. So we're going to be using two different fabric for the for, for the right side and then for the wrong side. So that's what we're going to be doing on this particular channel today. I also want to apologize because I know I went MIA and this is because of an accident that happened while we were filming a tutorial for the corsets. Um, I actually thought to do a tutorial for how to achieve a corset because it's trendy and I think things that are trendy are things that I would like to do. Meanwhile, a lot of you had so many comments on the hip and butt padding. I am a teacher, so I teach people how to achieve things, not necessarily that that's, you know, my style or that is what I do. So, I mean, all those preaching, man, I don't know what to say, <laughs> you know. I just read comments and then I just laugh about the comments, but it's trendy if you like it, you know, you want to enhance your look and you want to have a bigger... I don't see anything wrong in that. That is actually, you know, basically like your own um, business, like seriously. You know, if people wear padded bras and people put on makeup and all that stuff, then why can't people enhance their behind if they feel like doing that? So, please, I think people should have the freedom to do whatever they want to do and people shouldn't criticize them for their choices okay okay so that said i wouldn't want to waste too much of your time let's go straight and right into this tutorial okay i was saying that my camera actually fell down and it was a very dramatic um <laughs> episode so the lens got broken and we weren't able to film for a while but i think i'll probably put some of the clips of the course that maybe i don't know maybe we'll put some of the clips there for you guys to see if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do not forget to subscribe that if you found this video interesting or helpful in any way make sure to like and um, make sure to share this video with your loved ones and your family I mean, why won't you? And you can also leave a comment below, you know. Okay, I also want to say that um, my husband will bring in, or I and my husband will be bringing some other tutorials um, on another channel, which I'm also going to leave the link at the description box. My husband is into um, editing and post-production and animation and all that stuff. So, and he has a couple of very nice videos that are out there on his channel. Flaming Farm Studios, so you can go check it out. And of course, I also want to say that my husband is always behind the camera filming my videos, so he does all the filming and all the editing. If you want to know, and definitely, I know you won't take, or you guys, or some of you won't take one or two lessons from him because he does a very good job. I must admit, you know. Okay, so that said, let's go to the reversible um, bumper jackets. Okay, for this particular tutorial, you need fabric, and I'm going to be using two different patterns of fabric this is because like i said earlier it's reversible so you can either wear the right or the wrong side and it doesn't really matter so i'm using two different patterns because i want it to be unique when you wear you know any side i want it to stand out so this is what we're using we need elastic okay, this elastic is about three inches wide but I actually was looking for an elastic band that was about six inches wide and I didn't find so I'm going to be making um, use of this. If you have a wider elastic then you know it will be best for this particular tutorial. You need matching zip 
a zipper for this and then you also need chalk pins and definitely your sewing your scissors definitely you need your scissors and i'll be using my ruler as well for this tutorial so i'm just going to go right ahead into this and we're going to start by cutting out the back and then we're going to cut out the front so the jacket has zipper at the front so that's one thing um, you need to consider so we're going to start off by cutting out the back and then we're going to add zipper allowance to the front so let's do this okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to measure the length I actually want about 25 inches long the jacket I want it to be about 25 inches long so another thing we're going to consider about the length is that we're going to be adding elastic band you know at the bottom of the jacket so the elastic band is three inches but I'm going to fold it into two which is going to give me 1.5 inches so I have to subtract 1.5 inches from whatever length I will, I've, I've taken because by the time I you know add the elastic band it's going to be longer than expected so I want 25 inches as my length now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract about one inch I'm going to leave half of half inch for same allowance so I'm going to take out one inch instead of marking 25 inches and I'm going to mark 24 inches okay so that's going to be the length I'm just going to draw the line make sure your line is straight okay so the next thing I'm going to do here is to is to measure the neckline so for the neckline I'm going to be measuring 2.5 inches usually I use three for both for this jacket I would measure 2.5 inches next is the shoulder shoulder it's going to be eight inches okay so that's the mark I have here next thing I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to come down here for my shoulder slope by about one inch you can use half an inch if you want so half an inch is fine or one inch is fine just use what you want so I'm going to connect it this is similar to the regular video that I did on basic bodice pattern but for this we're going to be adding some more allowances and ease because you don't want your jacket to be tight so next thing I'm going to do is to come down to get my armhole and I'm going to be using 8 inches for this so I've marked 8 inches there and then I'm going to come down with a straight line to that point there next is my bust measurement my the bust measurement I'm working with here is actually 38 inches and when you divide that by four you're going to get about 9.5 inches okay so here we have 9.5 inches but for this I'm going to be adding two inches of ease for this particular jacket so 9.5 I'm going to have about 11.5 and I'm going to add it one inch extra so i would need about 12.5 inches here so totally i added three inches to my actual measurements so i'm going to connect this like so okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to come down from this particular point okay all the way to the hem or to the bottom of my top okay so here I'm going to just go ahead to measure my hip is actually or the hip measurement I'm working with is actually um, 40 divided by 4 because we're working on one side this is which is the back and it's also on the fold so that's why we're dividing by 4 is actually 10 inches when you divide 40 by 4 you get 10 inches so we're just going to go right ahead to add the same 3 inches we added up here to this part so 10 and I'm going to be using 13 so I'm going to mark 13 right there okay so if you um 
you, you see that I didn't include the waist measurements if you look closely because it is actually not important for this. This is a jacket, you don't need to shape the waist. So I just connected the bust to the hip directly. Another thing I want you to note is that um, another thing I want you to note is that um, is that this part, like uh, the bottom of the jacket, we're going to be adding elastic, so you need it to have a lot of room or allowance so that you know the elastic is going to help to hold it in place so that is why we're adding all this allowance you can see there's three here you can add more here if you want and add less here like here instead of putting three you can use actually four just one inch bigger than this if you actually added two inches of seam allowance plus ease you can add three inches here and if you added three inches you can add four inches here that's what i'm actually trying to say but you can just make it the same it doesn't really matter so i've added three inches on the bust and i've actually added three inches here you know at the bottom of my jacket okay so that is that so for this particular part the next thing i'm going to do is to come down one inch for the neckline so from here I'm going to come down one inch and then I'm just going to give it a curve, a slight curve like so. Next I'm going to come up here by one inch as well, okay, and I'm just going to give this a slight curve. Now I'm doing this, if you have a, if you have a armhole curve ruler you can use that ruler to achieve this, it's going to give you pretty much the same thing. Um, I just decided to do this. Like so. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to use this to cut out the front. Okay, so this is what I have here for the back. Okay, so the front and the back is going to be similar. Basically, I'm just going to leave about one inch for the zipper that is going to be at the front. And I'm going to be coming down on the neckline by three inches at the front. So I think that's the only difference between the front and the back. Nothing much. So this, I came down one inch at the back here. It's going to be three inches. So I'm just going to mark that. And I'm, I've left about one inch here extra for the fronts because of the zipper that we're going to be using. Every other thing is going to be similar and pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead to cut this out. Um, okay, so I'm going to connect. This is the neckline. All you need to do is just gently fold this. Right, so I'm just going to cut this as well. And I'm going to open up the fold at the front, not the back, please. And that is it. So this is what we have here for the front. You can see the way it's looking. Um, yeah, looks good. Okay, so this is the back. This is how it's looking. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the same thing here um, on this other side. Okay, so we're going to cut out exactly what we have here on this other side. That is going to be after I cut out the sleeve. So I'm going to go right ahead to cut out the sleeve. I'm going to show you um, how to cut out the sleeve. It's really easy, nothing too much. And then I'm going to cut out this pattern on this pattern and that is basically it. Then I'm going to go ahead to cut out the elastic as well that we're going to be using. I'll show you how to get that done and then we're going to move right ahead into the sewing machine to sew our bumper jacket. Okay, so I decided to use another fabric for the sleeve and this is because I noticed that the pattern on the other fabric was not going to, I'm not going to have to exact sleeve and I don't want that to happen. So I'm changing my mind and I'm using this fabric and you can see that I'm using a fabric that is similar, you know, um, the colors are kind of the same. This has yellow and it has also has blue. So why not? So I'm going to be using 
this one for the sleeve and I've just gone ahead to fold it into two. Sleeve length is 23 inches in total. So this one three inches and I'm going to add in an elastic band on the sleeve of about 1.5 inches. So I'm going to go ahead to make it 22 inches. Okay, so this is going to be one. I'm just going to cut it out. And this is going to be another one. So I'm just going to place this on the rest of the fabric and cut it out. So I'm going to have good sleeve. And the patterns are going to be the same. Well, except you're trying to make a fashion statement. If not, like, if you're making so exact sleeve, then patterns should be the same and what I mean is that your sleeve this shouldn't have lines going horizontally and the other one would have the lines going vertically like they should flow in the same direction except you're trying to make um, a design statement and that is definitely fine but I don't want that so this is what I'm going to be using for my okay so I'm gonna have to cut out the full length of the sleeve next thing I'm going to do is to impute all my sleeve measurement and there's nothing different here about your regular sleeve the only thing you need to note here is that you need more allowances as well for the sleeve and that when you're when you're um you don't need to shape your sleeve like the sleeve opening you're going to leave it the same length with whatever the bicep is or the round arm as you know um, depending on what you do call it so here my sleeve um, found is actually is actually about 12 inches and when I divide it by two I'm going to have about six inches right now I'm going to be adding two inches allowance to this so I'm going to be working with about eight inches Okay, so that is the measurement there. Now um, from here to here is actually my cap, cap height measurement and I've explained this previously. I think I have here. Yeah. So I'm just going to mark that. Okay, uh, so this, whatever measurement I'm going to use here is the same measurement I'm going to use here. So no need to shape the opening of my sleeve because we're going to be using elastic band to, you know, hold it in place so that's just the only um, significant thing that you should note you know about the sleeve here um, so here you can go ahead to shape your sleeve okay you know how we do this already um, there's different ways you can do this I'm not using an armhole curved ruler to actually achieve this if you want your sleeve to be accurate I have a video on how you can achieve both the front and the back and how you can you know perfectly achieve your sleeve so I'm just using my free hands to do this okay and then I'm just going to trim this. So this is what I'm going to have here. And from this particular jacket, I'm not really taking notes of the front side of my sleeve and the back side of my sleeve because I didn't actually take um, put that into consideration when drafting the body. So this is what we're going to be working with and at the end of the day we're going to have the elastic come over here and I think it's going to be perfect. So moving on, I'm just going to go ahead to cross check this. I have about 10 inches here which I think is perfect. I'm just going to look right here. Let's see what I have here. Okay, so this is this is perfect. It's going to fit in um, nicely when we're done, and it's going to fit in nicely when we're done. And yeah, 
if this is going to be how it's going to look okay so that is it um so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to cut out the pocket okay so i forgot to tell you that the bumper jacket is going to have a pocket somewhere here and i decided because i saw that this fabric has a different pattern here or color i'm going to use this part for the pocket so i'm just going to cut it out hope um thankfully i have enough of it yet to go in for the right, left and the right pocket so that's what i'm going to be using and i'm going to place it right here okay so this is where it's going to be and what you just need here from here to here i'm going to take out about three inches and here i'm going to make it about seven inches so make sure it's just enough for your arm to fit in okay so you can work with maybe i'm going to make mine six inches because by the time i'm done okay then i'm going to fold it this way okay so this is just going to give us enough room and don't forget we're going to have the zipper somewhere here I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. So I'm going to go right in to cut it. Oh, I'm just going to cut it out rather. Right okay. So I have something that looks like this. By the time I'm done, it's going to look like this. going to be looking like this and then don't forget we're going to have our zipper right here okay so i actually forgot to say something that and what i was about to say is that you can actually make this you know the exact length of your jacket you can actually cut out the exact length if your jacket supposed to be 25 just add whatever it is i want to add all the allowances like one inch cut it out 26 inches then right here you just get to take out the 1.5 inches that you need for your elastic so your elastic does not go all the way to the zipper okay i actually forgot to do that so i'm just going to go ahead to you know to continue with what i have done so sometimes <laughs> you could actually make mistake and then it comes out looking you know perfect so it doesn't really matter you can go ahead to cut out the exact length and then you can start your elastic band from you know somewhere about let's say four inches you know all the way and back but i've done it this way so definitely my elastic band is going to go all the way from the zipper round you know so yeah it's still fine it doesn't matter so this is my pocket now i'm going to go ahead to i have my sleeve i have the pocket Let me open this up. i have my sleeve i wish the sleeve pattern was the other way and not this way but this is what i have i'm going to make two with this and i have all this put together so the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to cut out the same thing on this other fabric, okay? This other fabric is going to be all the same. you see how I get that done. Next thing I'm going to do is to cut out. The elastic that we need is to measure and cut it out. Um, I'm going to do this for um, when I start um, sewing because I need to know exactly the measurements of my neckline to be able to cut out the exact elastic that i need for the neckline so i'm going to go ahead to so that leaving that that way and for the waist um i actually cut out exact last for the bottom of my jacket like i said i was i worked with um, 40 and um going to cut out a little bit less than 
the actual measurements that's for my elastic band um so i'm going to cover up a little bit less when you divide 40 by 2 you're supposed to have about 20 inches right okay so i'm not going to be working with 20 inches here i'm going to be working with about 15 inches so i've taken about five inches you know out of that measurement and because this is elastic and you have to give it room to actually um stretch so that's what's going to happen so instead of working with 40 i'm going to be working with 30 actually because divided by two i took out five but when it's on a stretch 30 inches is just going to be fine by me so i'm going to be working with about 30 inches um for this and i'm going to cut out elastic that I need for the sleeve so 30 inches is fine I'm going to cut out elastic that I need for the sleeve like I said the sleeve you can take your sleeve round that's the opening of your sleeve and then you also subtract some measurement from it you can actually take out the elastic around your hip and just cut out whatever goes whatever goes well with it okay so I'm going to go ahead cut out the other parts and then out Go ahead to sew. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead to join the shoulders. So I've put this and I've pinned this in place. So I'm taking about half an inch and just going to take out the pins. Okay. You see the shoulder is joined now, and I'm just going to this you know, process for the other side okay so i've actually joined this shoulder i'm going to go ahead to also join the shoulders on this other side so i'm just going to repeat this process on this other side okay so for these are the pockets actually so these are the pockets that we cut out initially so I just want to finish the pocket for this pocket you, you can actually wear it by it to hem you know the size of the pocket but i've actually decided to use lining to do this um it's my action my preference actually you can do it whichever way you like because i just feel showing it with the line is going to make it look cleaner okay so that's what i'm doing here I'm just going to give small cuts like so. And then I'm going to do a top stitch on the lining. So I only close the sides. Yeah. So I've gone ahead to clean out the pocket. So this is how it's looking. You can see the sides are looking good. So I'm going to go ahead to attach it to this part here. Okay, I'm just going to use um pins to hold it down, then I'm just going to go ahead to attach it to, to this part here, and it's going to be looking all nice. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys what you look like. Okay, so I've gone ahead to attach the pocket to the board. This look at the way it's looking. Okay, so you have to make sure that this and this actually match properly so that when you insert your zipper, it's not like this or it's not like this. Okay, so whatever you do here, remember that you're working on two different sides, that you also have to do the same thing here. 
like I said, is a reversible jacket. So we're doing the same thing that we did here on this other side. And don't forget, we cut out the uh, pocket for that, for the other side too. It's supposed to look the same. So I'm going to go ahead to finish the other side. So even if I don't show you, just bear it in mind that I'm repeating the same process. So I don't have to show you the both um, sides. So now when we're done attaching the pocket like I've done now, I'm going to go ahead, finish the, it on the other side and I'm going to join the both sides together with the elastic band before I go ahead to insert my zipper. So I'm going to be inserting my zipper, you know, later. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'll show you how to join it together. Okay, so what I'm doing now is closing the sides and I'm just going to go ahead to close up the sides for both of them. Okay, so this is what I have here. I've gone ahead to close the side. This is what I have here for this. Okay, and this is what I have here for this. See the way this is looking and the other one is looking. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead to attack the elastic band. Okay, so this is the band that I'm using. So I told you because I'm making a reversible band, I would have wanted something to be double. I'm going to make do with what I have. So for this particular band, I'm going to attach this on this side all the way to the end, and I'm going to attach this other one on this side all the way to the end okay so i'm going to go ahead and do this show you what it looks like then i will go ahead as well to insert the zipper at this point okay so i've closed it all off and then i've attached the elastic to the both sides so this is the way it's looking on the inside and this is the way it's looking on the outside so you can see this is the right side and this is also the right side of the other side you can see the way they're looking all together okay so what i'm going to do next is to attach my elastic i'm uh, sorry my zipper so the zipper is going to go see so at this point in time the back and the front are pretty much like the same thing you just choose where you want your zipper to face because your zipper can actually face this side or you can face the side but anyhow you'll be able to use it both ways okay so that's why it's use that reversible so i'm going to be using this particular side oh uh, no i'm going to be using this particular side as the front and so i'm going to attach this particular zipper to this side so okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it inside that's to the wrong side side out i'm going to give this part a notch so that i know where my zipper is starting and where my zipper is ending so i've given a notch here exactly at the middle and i'm going to repeat the same thing on this side exactly at the middle okay so what i'm going to do next is to insert my zipper so I'm going to open it up, open it up, and then I'm going to start exactly on the side where I have the notch, and then I'm going to do, I'm just going to insert my zipper, I know most of you know how to do this already. So I'm going to insert the zipper and I'll show you how to finish up with the, with the collar and the sleeve. That's all we have left, collar and the sleeve, so I'm going to insert my zipper and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so I've gone ahead to insert my zipper halfway. See where I, the notch, where I, I I'm actually gave a notch. That's where I started from, all the way up. Okay, so this side is actually left without the zipper because this is like the lining, you know, right now. So I've inserted my zipper and this is how it's looking. It's looking like this. Okay, so you can open it all out. So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead to turn this in like so and i'm just going to give it a good stitch i'll 
when I'm done, you see this side will be looking very nice and neat, and the other side also will be looking very nice and neat. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm not recording everything because it's going to be too lengthy. The video is going to be too lengthy, so that is why I am actually recording the important part of this video so you guys can miss out anything. So I'm just going to do this, then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I'm finished with the zipper. This is the way it's looking on this side. Let me show you. Okay, this is the way it's looking on this side. And then when you flip it over, this is the way it's looking on this other side. Okay, the way it's looking at the moment. So you can just zip it all the way. It's looking like this. For this part, we still have some finishing to do because we have to run a top stitch so that the um, inside of the lining is independent and this side, you know, also. So it's looking nice already. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Okay. So if you're a beginner, please, I want to advise that you take it easy with the zipper because it looks like it's so easy and all that. I had to use a zipper foot for this, number one. And number two, you know, I had to also make sure that this place looks really nice as the reverse side looks really nice and it's properly, um, everything just stays well. So you have to take it easy and, you know, take your time, don't be in a hurry. It's not magic because you can actually get to attack the zipper, but if it's not properly attached, your jacket is going to look um, tacky and I know you don't want your jacket to look tacky. Take your time to cut out any loose threads as well as you saw. Well, all these tips I give is actually for beginners because there are some people like, oh, just go straight into it. I mean, you don't have to tell us what to do. We already know what to do. But trust me, some people are on the zero beginners level and they really need to know how to get things right okay so now that we've done this what i'm going to do is to go ahead to sew down the neckline i'm going to measure the neckline so i'm going to measure the neckline of course i'm going to cut out the excess zipper measure the neckline Okay. After measuring now, I have about 16 inches. Okay. Now I'm going to cut out elastic of 16 inches because we're going to add elastic to this particular neckline. It doesn't have to be elastic though, but you can get something that will complement the black elastic, so like a black fabric to do this. But elastic is better, so this is about 15 inches. So, so just make sure you measure properly cut out exactly the elastic that you need. I'm going to show you how to go about that real quickly. And I'll show you how to finish up the neckline. And next we're going to finish up the sleeve. Okay, so here we have elastic that I'm going to use. Like I measured, neckline is about 15 inches. I'm going to cut it now 16 inches just to be double sure in case I don't want to have any, um, make any mistake, I can always reduce it to the 15. So I'm going to cut now 16 inches. When you're cutting this out, make sure you don't stretch the elastic or the neckline. We don't need it stretched out, actually. So make sure you cut out exactly the measurement that you need. And here, what I need is 16 inches. So I'm going to cut out 16 inches. Okay, so I'm going to leave the remaining one for the sleeve. So for the neckline, you're going to, also going to be folding this into two, you know, to get our neckline. We just need about one inch. That's just all we need. And, you know, to achieve that, we're going to fold this into two to get our neckline correctly. So you're going to fold into two. Okay.
Okay, so let me just pull this here. It's really tough. So I'm going to use elastic. I mean, I'm going to use pins to, to, to keep it down because I don't think I can use my pressing iron on this. Or maybe I can, I really don't know. Okay, so I just held it down with pins because I want it to be folded. What I'm going to do with this edge is to actually narrow it to the tip like this. So I want it to be narrow, I want it to be narrow. I'm going to take out this pin and I'm just going to cut it out. Okay, so I just need it a little bit narrow so that it looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to just fold it in out some of the pins here and I'm going to cut out the other side okay so I'm gonna have something that looks like this it's going to be looking like this At the end of it all it's going to be looking like this so i'm just going to go ahead to attach it to i'm going to go ahead to attach it before then let me just give it a stitch so that it stays down completely going to look something like this and I think it's going to really bring out the jacket very well. So what I'm going to do from here is that I'm going to go ahead to insert this inside. I'm going to sew it all the way to the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to spread this. See this is both, so I'm going to spread this like so. Now I'm going to make sure this is inside. Okay, so I have use um, pins to hold down the neck sorry to have used pins to hold down the collar okay so I'm just like reviewing it just to make sure so that it stays in place and there are no excesses so it's better to use pins to hold it down so you can check it out before you go ahead to actually give you know stitch so this is actually looking nice remember that i'm doing this only on one side and the other side is still um on its own so after i'm done with this side that's the front side as the main fabric right now well they're both the same thing so after i'm done with this side then i'm going to turn the other side in from the armhole okay so i'm going to go ahead to do this and take out the pins as I go. So 
so I'm done with the one side. This is the way it's looking. This is the way it's looking at the moment. You can see the way it came out. Just make sure that there is nothing wrong anywhere. So you just have to check it out properly. Make sure that it's stain. Eyes and mats, okay. So, this is really okay. I'm just going to zip up a little bit more, and you can see how it's looking here. It's okay, it is neat, and it's okay, right? Okay, so this is looking neat, and this is looking okay. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to you know, turn things around. Now I only have the armhole open, so I'm going to go in through the armhole. I'm going to go in through the armhole and I'm going to trim out any excess and actually make sure that this also stays down and everything is properly done so i'm going to go through the armhole like i've done right now trim out any excess and then give this a stitch and so if i do that you see that both sides will be looking nice and both sides will stay looking good okay so that's what i'm going to do right now i'll go back and show you the, i'll come back and show you the results yeah, so thank goodness. This is how the <laughs> sorry. So this is how the neckline is looking right now. I actually love the results. I'm satisfied with the way it's looking. You can see the reverse side is also looking nice. Okay, so you if you follow the steps that I showed you, this is what you're going to get. So even when you turn it around to the other side, you see it's looking equally nice. So this is how it's looking. I hope you can see this. This is my zipper. It's not bad at all. So after doing this, what's next for me to complete is the sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to go about completing the sleeve. Okay, so I use the armhole to turn this in. So this is how it's looking. So to keep this down, what you can do after giving it a stitch at the other side is you can now do a top stitch. Now I have black here and I'm using a black thread so the top stitch is not going to be very visible you're going to be doing the top stitch on this other side that's the reverse side not on this side just so that the neck stays really really down so you're going to just do that you know giving small cuts from inside Okay, so this is the color. This is how the inside is looking. You can see this. So you can give small cuts and then you can give a top stick from the reverse side to keep things down. So when you've done this, you're actually almost through. The only thing we're going to do now, right now, is to attach the sleeve, to sew the sleeve together and attach the sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to do that and we are almost done. You have to learn some finishing techniques. It's not just making this so that it looks nice. I'm also going to be top stitching somewhere here, you know, so that it stays completely down, you know. So when you put this on, the reverse is not popping out somewhere, okay? So you have to get all this done to make sure that things look really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead to do that right now and I'll show you how to join the sleeve. Okay, so this is a sleeve. This is a sleeve. So I've attached this elastic to the sleeve and I've also attached the other sleeve. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now and this is how you should do it. So what I'm going to do next is to, you know, pin this down and then I'm going to close the sleeve. I'm going to close it off from here all the way. And when I'm done with the bolt sleeve, I'm going to go ahead to attach it to our jacket. 
So I might not be able to film this for space and all that stuff, but I just want you guys to follow the process and know what I'm doing at every point. So I'm going to go ahead to close this up, turn it inside out. I'll show you guys when I'm done. So now I'm done stitching. This is the way it's looking. So I'm going to turn it in this way, halfway. Okay. So this is what I'm going to have here on this side. Make sure you know you match the bolts together. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have. And if I flip it around, I'm going to have this on this side. And you can see it's going to look properly finished like this. So this is the sleeve, and this is the way it's looking. Basically, I just want you people to understand the process because when you're making something that's reversible, sometimes you know, really. So this is how this part is looking and I don't think it's bad. So I'm going to go ahead to attach this to the jacket, already sewn jacket. Or to the bodice rather because this is not already sewn. It's still in the process. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead to attach this like so to complete this side. Now, how am I going to get this done? I'm going to go in through the armhole. Okay, so I'm going to go in through this armhole to get this done. And I'm going to go through this armhole to get this done. So basically, what you need to do is to go through... You can, you can even go through this armhole because we're taking one side at a time. Okay, so it's just one side at a time. We're not going to be joining this, just this side. Now I'm going to match the side seam of the bodice to the sleeve. I'm just going to go ahead to, to join it. Okay, so you can use pins to hold this down while you do this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead to join this side and the other side, and I'm going to show you how I go ahead to finish the other side as well. This is the way the jacket is looking at I've attached the sleeve to it. Okay, so this is the way the sleeve is looking on this side, and this is the other sleeve. Now I did this through the help of the armhole, you know, because I told you it's just one side. So we still have this one open, and I threw the um, this armhole that is open. I was also able to attach the sleeve of the other side as this other side okay so i was able to do this and this is the way this other side is looking so this other side is looking like this okay so this is the way the sleeve is looking on this side now um i have one sleeve left and this is the tricky part because i have to finish up this particular sleeve which is still inside here and the only way I can do it is that I need you know somewhere that is open to do this to complete this so how am I going to get that done I can actually get to open somewhere on the sides here so that I can assess the sleeves from there or I can get to open somewhere on the sleeve here okay so that I can I can assess the sleeve from there so it just actually depends now why it has to be on the side you know why it has to be somewhere on the side and I'm not going to do this on this side actually if I'm going to open anywhere I'm going to do it on this side because you know this side is like where um, I've been working on, on the as the wrong side, even though it is completely reversible and the both sides are the same. So I would rather want to do this here. So I can actually open a little bit here and put my hand through to assess this so I can finish it up. Or second thing I can do is to open from the sleeve. Actually look for a space from the sleeve here. I'm going to open up a little space here on the sleeve, not on this side here. 
because your sleeve is always down most times. It's just a tiny opening, let's say about two inches, and that is going to help us to attach the slip properly and it's not going to really be visible but if you do it on this side it might be so let me go ahead and loosen a little bit of this side okay so as you can see i have my opening somewhere here so this is a sleeve okay so this is the sleeve that is popping out so i've opened somewhere here now i'm going to so this sleeve is supposed to be attached like so so now I'm going to put this together. I'm going to come in, pull all this out from this tiny hole. Okay, so I'm going to hold this with the pin so that it stays there. So I've gone ahead to finish up the sleeve. This is the remaining sleeve from the outside. And then the remaining parts that I couldn't finish from the right side i'm going to be you know assessing it through this opening that i have here that i created on the sleeve so i'm going to access it through that place and i'm just going to um finish it okay so when i'm done with that now i've just done that already i've done that already so now i'm going to close up the opening that is remaining and this opening here is going to be very very difficult for anyone to detect you know the opening and that is why i decided to leave this particular side so you can actually leave um the side but this is perfect for me so i'm just going to close it up real quickly okay so i've done that and i, I did it you know made it look very neat Okay, so this is how the sleeve is looking. Okay, so I'm done with it and this is how it's looking. This is looking good, as you can see. The sleeve is well attached and everything is looking good here. And on the reverse side, the flip side, is looking very good as well. It's looking very good as well. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is to do top stitch on this side because you don't want this side coming out on this side when you're putting it on. And I've gone ahead to do it already. I just did the top stitch on the elastic and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the sleeve. Like this, I've done this. You see, it's staying very well in place. But I haven't done for this one. And you can see when you open, this one can just, this part can start peeping out when you're putting on your jacket so it's good to just do a top stitch to hold it down so i'm going to finish it up and go ahead to do to do any other thing that i feel is not yet you know pro properly done because i also went ahead to give the zipper side a top stitch just to keep things down here if you can do it make sure you do it very neatly and don't make it obvious so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you i'm going to go try this out so that you guys get to see what it looks like okay, so this is the outcome of the reversible jacket and i completely loved you know how it looks the only you know thing i didn't like about it is that the length of the sleeve was not as long as i wanted i actually uh, measured 23 inches but i think i should have made it longer so you can always make yours longer because you can pull it up if you want so this is how it looks completely nice and beautiful try and make yours and um, send me a picture on my instagram or any of my social media handles and i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.